Hello, everybody, and welcome to the grand finals of the 4v4 Search and Destroy Call of Duty Ghost Kickoff Tournament presented by MLG Play. Just got into the lobby. The first map is beginning right now. Sovereign Search and Destroy between Optic Gaming and Team Kickoff. Well, how's their team in, but you might see some familiar names on this team if you're familiar with the Game Battle Search and Destroy team. But let's jump right into the action. We're watching Nadeshot at the start of this one. As Optic Gaming, they have the first offensive round. And I just want to say I apologize for the delight. We are waiting on the other semifinal match to finish. Uh, it looks like that one went to uh, all seven rounds. But we're in the finals now, and the action, well, it's kicking off right in front of your eyes as Big Timer finds two. It looks like it is going to be a two-on-two -two situation as it's I Hunt Goblins and Remedies up against Big T and J Cap. Big T looks like he's moving in to pick up the bomb. Now, Sovereign is a map where, of course, the top B bomb site, top control, highly contested area. You can get lots of grenades near the bomb site. So we've seen Optic specifically. They like to favor the A bomb site a bit more, but kicking things off their first offense round, it looks like they were attacking over near B. And you do see Big Timer will be able to pick up the final kill, so they take the first round. But they're kind of figuring, you know what? We've been going A, we've been going A, we've been going A. The other team, they might know that we've been going A. So let's switch it up. Let's go B, and it works out in the end. As you just saw him take round number one. We'll switch over to team kickoff and see what these guys have in store for us. Now, if you don't recognize the, the names of these players, well, they're very active in the game battle search and destroy team. I recognize I hunt goblins, remedies. So these guys are very familiar with the game type. And we'll see how they match up against Optic Game. Of course, we all know how... Optic Gaming love to play Search and Destroy. It's one of their better game modes. But Jay hated under the screen. First blood comes in from Pharaoh as he connects onto Scumpy. And it looks like these guys are going to be attacking the B-bomb side as well. One more play out near the railing. Jay hated going for a challenge. He's going to back off though. It's going to be Remedies getting the bomb down very early on in the round. And they got all sorts of position to work with at the B-bomb site. He's going to back off. Watch the flank stairs. Jay Pharaoh up top. Could also lean around the corner. Choosing not to do so while Goblins is also helping out near the flank. Also has a good line of sight over near the mid alley. Jay hated. Looking around towards bottom control. Big timer. But connects onto remedies. There goes Goblins as well. Jay hated. Stunned out. Getting some grenades out to his front. Trying to protect himself. Will spot one. There goes Nature. And now he is the last one alive in a one on two situation. Time winding down on the bomb timer. Only 10 seconds remaining. Has to make one kill. And he makes it. Takes out J Cap. And he's going to clutch around with Force Team. Even picks up the final kill. Take a look at this one more time as Team Kickoff tied things up at one round apiece. J Hated takes out the bomb diffuser. Finds Big Timer on the staircase. As now we're going to be moving into round number three. And here we go. I think we'll we'll go over to Optic and take a look at what they want to do here on offense. Now, of course, both teams, they just made a B push. And, well, both were successful in their push, resulting in a round win. But now, you might see some different strategies come out. It's going to be Scump. Scump has a sniper in his hand, so I want to switch over to him. There we go. And keep in mind, guys, the Grand Finals, it is a best of three series. And Search and Sharon goes. We play first of four. And Scump connects on the Goblins, ripping his face off. But he is out for more blood. Looking at top control windows, looking at his ladder as well. Not spotting anything, but you see the bomb carrier. It's going to be Nature at this time. Looks like he's got the bison in his hands. He's just checking bottom lockers. Just waiting for somebody to peek out as. Optic, they have the man advantage, so it's up to the defenders to check the bomb site and see when Nature goes for plan. You see the stun checks going through. Pharaoh will, will connect as he picks the frag onto Big Timer. So now that man advantage, well, it, it's gone for Optic, but... Essentially a one-for-one one trade would favor the offense as J-Cat peeks out a little too far near the bomb site. Nate shot also taking fire from the defensive back spawn, so it's going to be up to Scumpy and Nade here. Big Timer, he's already got five kills. We've played two rounds. We're into the third round, and he's got five kills already. As you're going to see Nate shot on the kill feed, finds Pharaoh, so that brings it back to an even man count. It's going to be a two-on-two, -two and Nade... I like the, the movement he's making around the map. Choosing to go underground here. He knows that the defenders, well, they only got two players left the line. So there's not a whole lot that they could watch on the map, which means that there has to be a gap somewhere in their setup. And in shot, he has found said gap. He's now behind enemy lines, looking to make one kill. As Gump 
he's just holding position near top control. So Optic well, looks like they do want to attack this B bomb site, but Nate Shot, well, he just wants to clear out this area first. He's going to be crouching around, does not want to make any noise here as he has the element of surprise in his favor. Looking around, checking corners, checking staircases. And it looks like he's just going to meet up with Scumpy here. So long flank. Finds nothing. It's actually going to be Scumpy who finds the kill. Taking out Remedies. But time starting to wind down. Only 20 seconds remaining. Takes five to plant. Nate shot. And he's going to try to get this bomb down. Scumpy in a great position to help out. But he has to react quick. Bomb goes down. And there's the kill. Jay hated right around the corner. Scump finds him. Picks up the kill. Optic Gaming retake the lead here. Take a look at Scumpy once again in the round and he kill cam reacts just in the nick of time. Watch his Nate shot die, but he gets revenge here as he takes out Jay Hated right behind that bomb site. Good stuff so far from Optic Gaming. And we're gonna stay watching them as now it's gonna be their turn on defense. And we'll see where they decide to go. So far, both teams on offense, they've chosen to attack the B site time and time again. Waiting on someone to maybe exploit the underground staircase. Maybe work around towards the, the shacks near the A-bomb site. But I think Big T's the guy to watch. Yeah, 5 and 2. Always doing work for the MSBS. I love the angle he's working here. So much cover to utilize. And now you can just push out on the map. And looks like he's got his, his bases covered. He's watching underground and the far A street. Scump with the sniper rifle watching bottom control stairs. Nate shot, he's pushed up near the A site. So Jcap, he's gonna be on the railings. Bomb goes down quickly at the B site. Grenade to enter, doesn't connect. So it's gonna be Optic trying to retake the site. Big T looking down underground, not finding anything. Scump with the sniper still watching the bottom stairs. Nate shot still hanging out near the A bomb site. And you know, time is not on their side here. He's going to find one in the middle of the map. Does connect. Takes out Goblins. And this is going to start the push for Optic. 20 seconds remaining. Pharaoh finds Skunk. Takes him out. Only 15 seconds remain for Optic Gaming. It takes seven and a half to defuse, guys. So not a whole lot of time for them to work with. We'll find one up top. That's going to be Jcap. But he's got defuse right now. And that's going to be the round. Optic Gaming unable to retake the site. Big Timer is going to be able to pick up a couple more kills. But... At the cost of a round win right there. And now we're all tied up once again. Two rounds apiece. But Big T without a doubt. The guy you got to look out for here. As he's just leading the lobby in terms of slaying. We're going to switch over to Team Kickoff. As it's going to be their turn on defense. And then we'll watch them through offense as well after this. And who's leading this team? Well, it's either Jay Hated or Farrell. We'll stay on board with Jay Hated here. And so far it's been all B pushes. All four rounds. Each team on offense has decided to push the B-bomb, so I think it might be time for a change in strategy, but it's up to the defenders to figure it out. As Jay hated, and he's just pushing up the A-bomb site, can of course lean over this uh, the mid-server. You see Remedy's mid-stairs action going down near the B-site right now. It's going to be Goblins, though, able to shut down the aggression from Nade Shot. Man advantage off the start going to team kickoff here. All right, Remedies finds one on the bomb site, moves in for the kill, connects, headshot onto Big Timer, and that's a huge kill for Team Kickoff as Big Timer, you saw it on the scoreboard earlier, leading the entire lobby for kills. Semtex not connecting, one player moving in on the flank. This is gonna be Jay Hated, takes out Scumpy. One player left alive, and it's gonna be Jcap right around the corner. Goblins in hot pursuit. Actually, all the players for kickoff here, but Jcap able to find one more, can't get the third. As it's looking good for Team Kickoff, they're now one round away from taking the first map in the best of three grand finals. You see it there, Faro, round ending kill cam. Switching sides. And we'll see if they could close out Optic on this map. I mean, we've seen Optic take out FaZe, take out Fuzzy Nuts and Friend, take out Unite Gaming. But now, it is all up to Team Kickoff. The grand finals of the 4v4 search and destroy Call of Duty Ghost Kickoff Tournament. And here we go. It's going to be an A push, the strategy of choice for Team Kickoff. We've got to go over to Jay Hated. He's leading the charge. He's got the speed per boosting perks out. Does not connect with his initial grenade, but we've seen Nate Shot do damage from the back of the A site with his sniper rifle. Big time. First blood onto Goblins. 
Jay hit it. He's got some decent positioning to work with, and Farrow is able to answer back. Even trade favoring the offense. Bomb carrier a bit behind. Jay hit it. Looking underground. I think this is where Big Timer died at, so he's just retracing his steps here, and it's going to slow down his team's progression. But now he's making his way back, and there goes Scumpy. Only two players left alive for Optic. It's going to be Nate Shot and J Cap. Oh man, it is all up to Jay Hated here. 35 seconds on the bomb timer. He's got a lot of room to work with here. Don't want to get taken out by uh, this little machine arm here. Finds one top stairs, connects, takes out J Cap. One player left alive. That is going to be Nate Shot in a one on one situation. And Jay Hated, he's going to call Nate Shot's bluff here, saying, You're not going to you're not gonna defuse the bomb, bud. I got a stun grenade. I could check it if you're going near that area. Now, 15 seconds remaining. Sees him over near the bomb site. He's just going to run away. Stun goes out. Not sure if he can. You can't see hit markers, but this should be a map one win, and it will be. Map one of the grand finals go to team kickoff. There's your final scoreboard. Jay hated seven and four. Pharaoh seven and five. Great slang done by them. And of course, three bomb plants from Remedies, the objective guy. You see Big T and J Cap doing some slang for Optic as well, but in the end, it was team kickoff that made it to four rounds first. And the first map of the Grand Finals is concluded. Keep in mind, it is a best of three series. First of two maps will take home the first tournament win for Call of Duty Ghosts. So Optic, their backs are against the wall early on here in the series. It's all up to them to come back. If they win the next map, we go to game three. If they lose, well, it is all over and Team, Ta team Kickoff will be crowned your champions. We're going to commercial break. When we come back, more action here from the grand finals of the 4v4 Search and Destroy Call of Duty Ghosts kickoff. Don't go anywhere.